David, welcome to the Valley. I am in the director's box at the Valley, and if I look behind there, there seems to be a high-powered meeting going on, which I'm going to interrupt right now. Katrine Mayer, the chief executive at Charlton, is holding this meeting. Sorry to bother you guys. Katrine, okay. welcome to 92 Live. <laughs> um, I'm being going to be very, very nosy here. Mm. What's going on? Is there a transfer talk going on uh, here? What can you tell us? I won't be telling you that. No, uh, we're actually discussing our communication strategy for the next week with the communications department. But any transfer news you can tell me? Um, there is an outgoing transfer happening at the moment. And his name is? <laughs> you will find out soon. We'll find out soon. Okay, look, it's Charlton against QPR. A very tough start for you to the season. If yes. we go through this way, you can show us to your seat yes. and... Show us the view that you're going to get for the opening day. Katrine, just tell us what it's like for you when you come to the valley. Do you still get that buzz? Yeah, I think uh, uh, 15 minutes before kickoff, I'm always locked uh, away in the boardroom and I, I just want to get out there and, and, and sense the atmosphere and, and really be here with the fans, amongst the fans, and, and get ready for the game. And uh, always when I come out here on the steps, I'm always so impressed with the stadium. And it gives me lots of lots of energy, uh, although I don't have and to play seat? myself. And your seat is? Is here, just oh, here. Fantastic. Yes. Next to that Richard is... Murray and uh, our chairman. That is some view. Now look, Charlton have been an established Premier League club in the past, Katrine. You'll, you'll be well aware of that. A few years in the championship now. Yes. What is your head? and your heart telling you about when you can return to the big time? Well, the heart, uh, obviously, when you see the stadium, you know it's a club uh, that is meant to be in Premier League. The head uh, is saying that we have done very good transfers. We're, we're very positive about the new season, but um, I think uh, we're quite cautious. And after the first couple of games in August, because we have a lot of uh, difficult teams to play already at the start, we'll make an assessment and then we'll set a, a target after August. Now, Katrine, footballers, managers are a very superstitious bunch, aren't they? Are yes. chief executives of football a superstitious breed? Uh, yes, I think I fall <laughs> under that category as well. <laughs> Tell us more. Well, uh, last year um, I took one of the flags on holiday, uh, of the corner flags on holiday. As you do. Um, and um, uh, I, I climbed a mountain, the highest mountain in the Atlas uh, Mountains. And, um, and so I showed the, the flag to be... Um, the, the position where it should be and then I started putting in the corner flex in the first couple of games and we were one of the, well together with Nottingham Forest uh, on most of the unbeaten team so uh, it kind of helped so uh, I will start it off. A, a You'll start it again will you? Yes, yes. Now we saw your seat, it's a great seat Yes. but perhaps it's not the best seat in the house is it? No. What I... initiative? Have Charlton got in store for their fans this season? Well, yeah, we, we, we value the fans a lot and obviously they should get the best seats. Um, and so this uh, year we have been doing, we'll be doing uh, something very unique in England. Uh, I don't think it's done before. We have a, a pitch uh, size sofa where the fans can, uh, can watch a the sofa. game live. Yes, yes, yes. Very comfortable. And here comes the big reveal. If you don't believe me, there is the fan sofa. Fantastic. Katrine, if you can take a seat. And let's have a look at the view from here. It's magnificent. Wow. Yeah. Better than your seat, you say? Yes, much better. Uh, so we will do a competition, actually. So the, the idea is that, um, that fans uh, in the crowd will film fans in the crowd. There will be a song will be played. And the one who dances the most or is the most expressive right. will win a, a seat on the sofa. And I intend to really participate at that one as well. You want to show us a quick dance now? <laughs> uh, if we promote the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.